The Palace of the Parliament in Bucharest is the second largest building in the world, renowned for its grand architecture and uh, rich history. The fountains in uh, Union Square exude uh, enchanting elegance, enhancing Bucharest urban landscape. The Romanian Athenaeum in Bucharest is a magnificent architectural gem, renowned for its uh, grandeur and uh, cultural significance. The Memorial of Rebirth commemorates the struggle and uh, victims of Romanian Revolution of uh, 1989. It's all continental and across Novotel. Odeon Theatre is themed for its uh, vibrant cultural showcases and uh, exceptional artistic performances. House Capsha Hotel exudes iconic elegance with a blend of history, charm and uh, impeccable uh, hospitality. Historical medical institution providing quality healthcare for centuries. Villa Cross Passage is a charming pedestrian walkway with a unique character and a vibrant atmosphere. St. Nicholas Church in Bucharest is a majestic religious landmark with exquisite architecture, rich history, and spiritual significance for the community. Hi, guys. We'll start this vlog here at the uh, University Square with the most uh, iconic hotel behind me the Grand Hotel Bucharest it's a 24-story 5-star hotel situated here in uh, University Square it was opened in uh, 1971 as the Intercontinental Bucharest and it's one of the city landmarks also here is the Romania kilometer zero here are the kilometer zero it's uh, like you can read over there it's freedom democracy free zone of communism this uh, hymn was written in the memory of those who sacrificed themselves in the 1989 revolution the National Theatre Bucharest it's uh, one of the National Theatre of Romania it was uh, open on uh, 20 December 1973 and uh, it has a capacity of about uh, 2600 persons okay <clears throat> the plan now is to go to the Union Square and then to go to the Palace of the Parliament which is the second largest public building in the world after the Pentagon We are going to use this uh, underground passage Until uh, we get there I will want to show you the university building in University Square from uh, from another another view. We start a vlog over there. Uh, look how massive is this university building. Behind there you can see the St. Nicholas Church Let's see if it's uh, open or not I think it is We used to call the uh, Students Church Stop. Let me take my hat off This one, it's uh, Shutsu Palace 
or uh, other call um, Bucharest Municipality Museum. Opposite, it's uh, one of the largest hospital here in uh, Bucharest. I will try to get a closer shot, but for that I will have to use this underground passage again. This is a nice uh, monument, it's a violin. So this is a Colsi hospital, like I told you, one of the largest hospital here in Bucharest. It has a very nice garden. It's like a park. But I still think the ambulances and the emergency use uh, another entrance, not this one. This is like a historic monument, this hospital. Spitalul Colța, 1867, 1888. In that direction, it's uh, Romana Square. And in that direction, it's Union Square. Here is the St. George Square with uh, another church over there. The Romanian are uh, very religious people, so uh, that's why we have uh, a lot of church. In front of us it's uh, one mall or one uh, large store which is an uh, old store here in Bucharest it's called uh, Kokor it's uh, between the Union Square and the University Square and here it's a different monument okay not long now until we reach the Union Square Okay, so all this until uh, all those buildings, all that, 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 this is all Union Square. This store, <coughs> it's one of the largest store here in Romania and it's called Union Store. This is the park. This park, it's uh, right in the in the middle of the Union Square, and it's called how do you think Union Park? Those one are the Bucharest fountains, artesian fountains of Union Square, built during communist period, were restored to life following an investment of nine million euro. The 44 fountains in downtown Bucharest are located at uh, 1.4 km distance between uh, Alba Iulia, which is in that direction, and uh, Constitution Square, which is in that direction. One last look over the fountains. Here we have one street uh, performer for the... I just... Uh, <coughs> oh my god! Just bought a coffee because uh, I almost uh, fall asleep until I reach this, uh, this huge... My god, that's... I never see something like that before. It's the most biggest building I ever see. Look at that. Let me tell you some facts about the Palace of the Parliament, also known uh, as uh, People's House of uh, People's Palace. Right now is the seat of the Parliament of Romania. Uh, the palace reach a height of 84 meters and uh, has a floor area of 365 square meters. Oh my God and a volume of nearly or over 
2.5 million cubic meters. The palace of the parliament is the heaviest building in the world. Yeah. Also being the second largest administrative building in the world. This palace has uh, over 1,100 rooms. The construction began in uh, 1980 and it was finished in 1997. Now it's uh, valued at uh, over uh, 4 billion euro. Now I will take the subway from here. This is how the subway looks here in Romania. It's a pretty long one. Over there is the connection with the subway line too. I will go out to here. Good. Okay guys, we are now at um, Victory Square. This is one of the main square in Bucharest, in central Bucharest where uh, a lot of uh, boulevard emerge the victoria palace it's a government building on the large victory square in bucharest housing the prime minister and uh, his cabinet the victoria palace it's a government building housing the prime minister and uh, his cabinet. The construction for this building started in uh, 1937 and was completed in uh, 1944. Inside this museum you'll find over 2 million specimens and it was uh, one of the most prestigious and a well-organized natural history museum in the world. Imagine that. This is the entrance. Wow, look at that. And those are the prices. For one adult it's about uh, four pounds. For a student, yeah, one pound. Over there are some bones of a real mammoth. And this one here, right at the entrance, is the American Mastodon or the Mammoth Americanum Care. Now we'll go on the Victory Avenue, which is that one in front of us. Cala Victoria, it's known as a, an aristocratic street and one of the most uh, famous street here in Bucharest the history of this street began in the 16th century when uh, originally had uh, two names or uh, it was divided or in two smaller uh, streets the first one ran from the royal court to the national military circle and the second one was the road of uh, Brasov during that period of time the name of the street was given according to their destination during the reign of Constantin Brinkovano in the 17th century the name of the street was changed to Mogoshoya Bridge. It was um, called so because the road linked the capital city to the summer residence of the, of the ruler. 
and bridge because the street was the first paved street in Bucharest. This is the Cantacuzino Palace. Too bad it's uh, being uh, renovated right now. Palace Town uh, Museum featuring uh, exhibits on the life of the most uh, famous Romanian musician, George Enescu. And right across the street, it's a beautiful church. It's called uh, the Church of the Holy Holy Cross. I will make a few steps in the yard. It's a ceremony inside. You can light some candles if you want for the living one and for the dead. Here on a corner, it's a beautiful uh, hotel. Look how empty this street is. I told you before, it's a holiday today here in, in Romania. Here on the left, we have uh, Palace Casino or uh, Vernescu House. Look how it used to look on all time. It's uh, pretty well preserved. Now inside it's a casino. In the middle of the <clears throat> Victory Avenue, you will find a small park. This one, it's called uh, Nikolai Yorga Park. Here is a statue of. Uh, one great uh, Romanian writer, Nikita Stanescu. Here we have uh, another church, it's called St. Nicholas Church. One guy here asking for money. It's something common here in Romania, especially on a holiday. I think it's closed or no it's not. Let's go inside. Okay. It's uh, pretty quiet. There's nobody in. How peaceful is that? And look what a beautiful exit it has with this small garden. On, uh, on my right and on my left. <clears throat> I am really starting to get hungry. This house is a historic monument. It's called Chisciano House. It looks like that. This is uh, Monte Oro Garden with uh, an old house here. Yeah.
this one here is the museum of art collection Stirbay Palace I will try to take a better shot this one too it's uh, left in ruins I have no idea why you can uh, find such electric uh, scooters everywhere front of us it's a massive hotel Radisson Blue look at the beautiful building we have in front of us this is Romanian Athenaeum this it's a concert hall in the center of the Bucharest and uh, it's a landmark of Romanian capital it was open in uh, 1888 over there I see some names by Raphael, Cornel, Homer and so on Too bad it uh, is it closed now. Oh, look how massive this door is. Here is the <coughs> Royal Palace of Bucharest and uh, the National Gallery. Right across in that uh, beautiful building it's uh, the university Carl the first <clears throat> and in front of it that big statue is the statue of uh, Carl the first this one here it's called the uh, rebirth memorial which uh, it looks very odd to me it's like uh, it has a, a potato right on top of it <laughs> okay 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 come on here we have a a monument, another monument to represent uh, Yulu Maniu. Which was a politician and a former prime minister of Romania. Across its um, Crețulescu church. This church is a red brick orthodox church with bell tower dating the 1720s. Not far from, uh, from this church is the palace hall. A hall that hosts uh, all kind uh, of uh, events and concerts. It's that one over there. and uh, here is the main entrance in the building this it represents of uh, Avram Yanku a former ruler of Romania another view over this beautiful square We are still on uh, Victory Avenue mm -hmm. 
Here is the Grand Hotel Continental. And across Novotel. In Romania you can walk on the middle of the road. This uh, old building is a telephone palace. On theater, it's one of the Bucharest leading theater companies. Was founded in uh, 1946 as a Jules theater, and it uh, was situated here in very heart of the city since uh, 1974. It has uh, a permanent company of 35 actors, two stage directors and one stage designer Hotel Capsha or uh, Capsha House it's a historic restaurant in Bucharest and it was opened in uh, 1852 this big uh, building is a uh, national military club and here it's a uh, flag square This is an uh, old boulevard which uh, in the old days was full of cinema on the left and on the right I think at least four cinema was at a time Here we have a very interesting passage it's called uh, Villa Cross Passage. It's a historic monument. I see here 1891. Let's uh, let's make a couple of steps. It's a uh, top yellow glass passage. This big building is a National Bank of Romania La Casa de Papel It's uh, been a few hours since I wanted to eat So I will stop to get something uh, from here Let me show you the prices oh, This is one pound, one pound, approximately one pound Less than one pound. This is how they look like. It looks like this, for which I pay almost two pounds, about one one pound and um, and eighty p. And we are going to close this vlog uh, here at the same place uh, where we started.